John D. Rockefeller, one of the most influential figures in American business history, is best known for his role in revolutionizing the oil industry and creating one of the first and largest monopolies in U.S. history through his company, Standard Oil. His journey to becoming the world's first billionaire is a story of relentless ambition, strategic vision, ruthless business tactics, and profound impact on the economy. John Davison Rockefeller was born in 1839 into modest circumstances in Richford, New York. His father was a traveling salesman and his mother was deeply religious. Early on, Rockefeller developed a strong sense of discipline, frugality, and ambition. He entered the business world at a young age, starting as a bookkeeper, where he honed his skills in finance and accounting. Rockefeller quickly realized that the burgeoning oil industry, driven by the discovery of oil in Pennsylvania in the 1850s, presented a huge opportunity. In 1863, at the age of 24, he invested in an oil refinery in Cleveland, Ohio. This marked the beginning of his deep involvement in the oil business. By the 1870s, he co-founded Standard Oil, which would become the dominant force in the oil industry. Rockefeller's rise to dominance was fueled by his aggressive business tactics. He understood that in the chaotic oil industry, controlling the refining process was key to success. Standard Oil's strategy was to buy out smaller competitors or force them out of business. Rockefeller perfected the technique of horizontal integration, taking over companies in the same industry, and soon controlled nearly all the oil refineries in the U.S. One of Rockefeller's most ruthless tactics was using secretive rebates from railroads. He negotiated exclusive deals that allowed Standard Oil to ship its products at lower rates than its competitors. This gave him an enormous advantage, squeezing smaller businesses out of the market. Those who resisted were often met with cutthroat price wars, where Standard Oil would drastically lower its prices, often at a loss, until the rival companies were forced to sell out or close down. Rockefeller's business acumen extended to vertical integration as well. He started to control every aspect of oil production, from drilling and refining to distribution and retail. This level of control allowed him to dominate the market and maintain a near-total monopoly on the oil industry. By the 1880s, Standard Oil had become an empire. It controlled approximately 90% of the oil refineries and pipelines in the U.S. Rockefeller's wealth grew exponentially, and he became the richest man in the world. However, his methods drew public scrutiny and criticism. He was seen as the quintessential robber baron of the Gilded Age, a symbol of unchecked corporate power and greed. Standard Oil's monopolistic practices became infamous, and Rockefeller was perceived as ruthless in his pursuit of wealth. Employees were paid low wages, competitors were crushed, and Rockefeller used his wealth and influence to sway politicians and control markets. His iron grip on the oil industry made him both admired for his business acumen and despised for his apparent lack of ethics. By the early 1900s, public and political backlash against Standard Oil's monopoly had grown significantly. The U.S. government began taking action under the Sherman Antitrust Act, which was designed to prevent large corporations from dominating entire industries and stifling competition. In 1911, after years of legal battles, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that Standard Oil was an illegal monopoly and ordered it to be broken up into 34 separate companies. While the breakup may have seemed like a setback, it actually made Rockefeller even richer. Many of the new companies, such as Exxon, Mobil, and Chevron, grew into major corporations in their own right. Since Rockefeller retained shares in each of these companies, his wealth continued to grow. By the time of his death in 1937, he had amassed a fortune that made him the world's first billionaire. After the breakup of Standard Oil, the American economy entered a new phase of greater regulation and government oversight of large corporations. The antitrust laws set in motion by Rockefeller's monopoly became a central part of U.S. economic policy. However, Rockefeller himself, now largely retired from active business, focused much of his energy and wealth on philanthropy. Rockefeller's philanthropic efforts were as massive as his business success. He established the Rockefeller Foundation, which became one of the world's leading philanthropic organizations, funding medical research, education, and public health initiatives. He donated hundreds of millions to causes like the University of Chicago, 
and the eradication of diseases like hookworm and yellow fever. His legacy, therefore, became somewhat twofold. One as a ruthless businessman who built an empire through often cutthroat means, and the other as a pioneer of modern philanthropy who left an enduring positive impact on global health and education. In summary, John D. Rockefeller's story is one of immense ambition and success, but also one marked by controversy and moral questions about the nature of capitalism and monopoly power. His influence on both the business world and philanthropy continues to be felt today. Don't forget to subscribe to the No Aim No Gain YouTube for life-changing content.